What's going on everybody? Today I want to show you guys a really quick way to mount a stationary solar cell. Now there are some mathematical ways where they tell you to add 15 degrees to your longitude or latitude, whatever it is, I can't remember, but with this little cheap device here that I've built, I'm going to show you how to aim a solar panel. Essentially all we're going to do is set this cup on the solar panel and when the shadow or I guess I should say when the light beam is cast directly on this smaller hole, you are directly in line with the sun. Now, initially you would believe you would want to uh, do this at high noon. If, if you have a stationary, a stationary solar cell, you're gonna wanna pick a time of day where you're gonna get the most sun. But in my particular case, high noon does not give me the middle of my available sun due to the, the trees and stuff like that in my area. So I think what I'm gonna do is, is right around one o'clock, I'm gonna set this on my solar cell and we are going to aim it until those beams line up with that little hole. Now the reason why I've chose this particular item to build this tool with is because there is already a convenient little center line right there on this bowl. You can use anything you want. I started off trying with this big one here, but then quickly realized this is a more refined system. Okay, you can see here, I am way out of alignment on this particular unit. So we're just gonna move the cell until that beam lines up. You get the idea. That's pretty doggone close. If this thing would just stay, or you moved it. Okay, I'll take that. That panel is now perfectly in line with the sun. The shadow somewhat kind of represents that too. Now because I'm on an angle already, it has a very odd position. You technically want to do this with the panel facing south. That's where you want a solar cell to face, they say. So face it south and then do this little procedure that I just showed you by lining up that right around uh, high noon, one o'clock, and that is the best way to set a stationary solar cell. Okay, we're pulling in about seven volts in direct sunlight. Okay, we're now facing south at about a 20 degree angle, so it's not in direct sunlight anymore, and as you can see, it hasn't affected it all that much. So, not totally critical, but you do get a little slight hair a bit di different voltage when you're directly in line with the sun. So there you have it. Just to be clear, you'll want to face your solar cell directly south. Then you, to find the proper angle, you would tilt this device here. Um, sometimes what you'll have to do is tilt the solar cell a little bit in this direction or that direction, or what you can do is just pay attention to where the light beam is inside of this cup. And whenever it parallels with the middle position, you know you're at the right angle. You don't have to make the light beam hit this hole exactly, just as long as it's across that center band as you're going perpendicular with your up and down. I didn't explain that very well at all. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, you see there how my hole it's not lined up with the light beam, but it is parallel. So if we go this way or this way, even though we're not directly lined up like this, we want the unit to be facing south. So to get the good angle, the perfect angle lined up, I think if we go right there like that, that's pretty much the same as this. I think I'm just gonna go with this here personally at high noon. However, that does cast a bit of a shadow at dusk. So I think that's why they say south is the best optimum position. But um, I don't know, it's kind of hard to say. I'd have to, to draw up a graph of my own to determine that. I mean, in my opinion, I think you would want to have the most light available at dusk because of the way those batteries are. The longer they sit, you know, they leak charge. I don't know if it's significant or not, but Based on that right there alone, you would probably want the batteries to receive the most charge at dusk. And um, 
that would also have them in a scenario where they're not as hot. Maybe they'd have I've had some time to cool down. I don't know. I do know that the batteries will be getting extremely hot in summertime, so that's kind of a problem. But other than that, just a quick little idea. If you think this isn't working, you know, I'm willing to listen to your comments of why, but I just think this is far better than the traditional method of adding 15 degrees to your longitude. And the reason being is, is that determining the true position of your solar panel requires a level, a flat plane to level off of, you need a compass. It's quite a complicated task when you actually get down to it. But this here, I think is gonna be probably one of your best, best methods. Um, as you can see in the sky, I have a lot of trees. Basically uh, tree lines all over here. So in between that tree line and that tree line is about right here in the sky. That's not gonna be at high noon. That's at about two o'clock in the afternoon is when I'm gonna actually solar sync up that solar panel because high noon is not the very middle of my available sunlight because of the way the shadows are cast. So that's one thing you might want to take into consideration is where the sun actually is. And if, if you're out in an open field, then you want to go with directly south, I believe high noon or right around one o'clock for some people. I'll check into the numbers on that and give you guys a little bit more specifics at the end of the video. I just didn't want to bore you because some of you will probably see this and just jump right on it. And um, in my opinion, this is the best way to go. There's no need to do a bunch of math. This right here proves that you're at the right angle. So if you position it, you line it up, just read the angle on your solar cell panel if you're lucky enough to have one with a dial indicator on it, and then aim it south. That ought to do you in for the day. I'm also gonna be doing a review on this product in the next video. If you guys have one of these and have used it, uh, leave a comment in the description what you think about this device. I'm under the impression this is another one of them Chinese knockoffs that uh, is a good idea, but the hardware they provide just doesn't cut it. It's a good concept. I like the idea, but does the hardware pull through? There's a lot of scam Chinese products like this out there. And uh, we'll be putting that to the test also.